Esposito, author of the new cookbook, Jennifer's Way. We're in the kitchen. I just want to say one thing to you all. These products are also wheat, egg, dairy-free. They're allergen-free. No soy, no corn. But And the bottom line is, if you're at home and you or your kids have an allergy or an, even just an intolerance to something, you can make food taste delicious just substituting things out. People feel very hopeless and their kids feel isolated, but you, I've had a lot of experience with this, and you can really make amazing food that tastes just like the more fattening and, and food filled with allergens. So, yes, that's true. All right, so what are we making here today? We're going to make a, a pear cardamom loaf. So what we have in here, and then again, it's a pear loaf with pear drizzle. Okay. We have uh, four flours that I like to use. Okay. So it's quinoa, sour gum, potato starch, and brown rice. And what okay. you're gonna do is gonna take all the dry ingredients. This is a, a little bit of xanthan gum. I like to use Himalayan sea salt. It's just a pure salt and you get a better taste. Baking soda and baking powder. Okay. You're gonna put that in there. Got it. Then you have the cardamom, the vanilla, like fresh vanilla. A lot of interesting spices. Uh, cardamom, like. vanilla, and then we use, I love maple sugar. Okay. It's a natural antioxidant. I, I love it. It's expensive. You can use cane juice sugar. You can use coconut sugar. Maybe okay. a little less sweet. If you put that on. All right. And then we're going to do... What's in here? Oil oh, and... Oh, uh, oil, applesauce, and um, the pear. We like mushed up a pear. pear. Yeah. Right. Mashed pear. Yep. Got it. And then we're going to put a little at a time. Okay. And you can keep mixing. Okay. And then I want you to alternate. Coconut milk is huge. So what are the challenges you're having in your business right now? Um, I want to get these products to anyone who needs them. And what I'm finding, it's not only the celiac, it's the, the mother, the young mother, or the person who oh, just wants to eat clean. Just wants yeah, to eat course. clean. And, right. you, and I'm showing you that you can. Right. You don't need preservatives and, and all that stuff. You don't. And, um, there you go. You know, I think, because you said you wanted a little bit of advice, I think that you should... You know, you have your store, and that's amazing, and you got that's got to be your flagship. Like, mm -hmm. people know that that's your place Absolutely. in New York, and you are an actress, and people will come because you are there. Mm -hmm. But I think you have to pull the focus a little bit, pull back, because you're going to be more successful and get it to more people that need it if you are really focusing on your online presence, yep. on your manufacturing facility yep. in Queens, mm -hmm. because you have to be able to fulfill orders. Mm -hmm. You have to be prepared for who your big baker is going to be when somebody like Target comes yep. and wants to do it mass or yep. a big supermarket chain, because yep. it's amazing that you can do this, but you bake all these. You mm -hmm. cannot, that you're never gonna right. be able to get anywhere if you are baking it. The right, no, is, I know. The, you wanna be yeah, sleeping oh, when yes. someone else is baking and when you are, people are buying your product. I, so I you agree. have to now, if you, if you want to talk, Otherwise, Absolutely. like off, you know, I would maybe be getting inter get, be interested in getting into business with you because yeah. you need to learn how to take this to the next level. Yeah. In order to get it to more people, you have to you have to get streamlined mm -hmm. and you have to have a real plan. You can't just like go day to day Thank and with you. the bakery because I've I've literally done this. It's and it's, it's really hard. It's it's crazy. It so, definitely is. But right. so I just want to say this is a parchment paper lined into a into a bowl. And you're just going to put everything in here into the loaf pan, which you should always use parchment pan. anyway. Then you don't mess up your pan. That's I I, I think so. I do vegetables, too. parchment or foil, not in this case foil, but are your life. I don't like to mess up the pan. I have to no, scrub I agree. it out. I agree. Okay, so this is the pear cardamom loaf with pear drizzle. I don't like You're anything. You're so great. Here's our oven. And we put it in the oven. Wow. And then here it is. But, <laughs> Karin, come here. So Karin, this is Karin, this is Jennifer. Karin does my makeup. Um, and she is gluten free, so she can never eat any of the fun snacks that we're eating in the makeup chair. So, what are you interested in trying, and what are you missing in your life? Besides I'm, everything. I'm a savory girl, and I, I feel like the too. few gluten free things that I like in New York are already sweet. Mm -hmm. So I'm like really interested in having the more bread like, like a things. bagel. Like a bagel. Like a ba that's a bagel I'm chip. I'm always really je you jealous like when people crunchy? eat bagels. Crunchy. The bagel chip oh, to that's me. A bagel chip. It's a bagel chip. That's like a bagel. Like and then real. We, we slice them, mm. and it's a real. Please right, taste the bread. It's if we really can good. Cut into the yeah. bread. What am I gonna? We're just rip it open. Rip yes. it open. That's right, the way. I do. Is anybody here? Want to try anything? Come on up. And... <laughs> try that. Bit crazy. Taste, that's amazing. Taste that. It's got. It gives. It that, gives back, which that's really good. That's bread. Mm. That's, that's bread. It's and real bread. And if you knew what was in there, it's so good for you. There's chia. There's there's millet. It's it's actual bread. And we I'm make French my toast out of that. Hi. What do you want? Mmm, that's amazing. Isn't that delicious? Oh my god. That what is, what's your name? This is Bernadette. the best queen. Bernadette. Right? Like what's crazy. your name? Sharon. Come on in. You want to try a muffin? Which yeah. one? One of those? Oh, someone has to try this. Like oh, it's like a chocolate. Oh, yeah, it's a nice. Try it. Go. Who wants to try it? 
Anyone, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's crazy. That's amazing. Is that crazy? That's quinoa. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. That's really good. Everyone in the audience is going home with Jennifer's new book, Jennifer's Way. Thank you.